cell phones 1010 is pretty easy and way cheaper than going to any of the plans officially provided by the platform. So you might already notice that there is no free plan available. You can enroll for a free trial, which is about 14 or 15 days, if I'm not wrong. But then you are required to pay a monthly or annual subscription. And talking on the starter and pro plans, you have limits on the number of workflow executions and now limits on the number of active workflows allowed. Such thing doesn't happen if you self-host any tens. So basically, if you self-host it, you have a limited workflow executions and now a limited number of active workflows allowed. However, there is some features missing on the NA10 version that is possible to self-host, which is the Comedy Edition 1. So this is the list of features that are not available. Some of them are just available on the Enterprise plan, and then some are also available on the Starter and Pro plans. However, if this feature is missing, is not a problem for you. Probably the best thing is just really self-host NA10 because it will be way, way cheaper. And also you don't have uh, talking here on a start and pro plans, you don't have limits on the number of executions and workflows. So the easiest way to self-host any 10 from my knowledge is throughout DigitalOcean. So DigitalOcean, it's a platform that provides cloud services. And so uh, here first you will have to create an account. So you can find the URL for DigitalOcean on the link of this tutorial. After creating the account, what uh, we'll have to do is to create a new project. So it will appear a UI similar to this one. So after creating the account and doing login, let's create a new project and let's name it NA10. And then if you want, you can add a description and tell the purpose. So let's here put that application and then let's create project and here let's click on skip for now after creating the project let's spin up a droplet which is a virtual machine that is really easy uh, to set up so let's click here then uh, the region just choose the one that is closer to you then here we have to choose the droplet image so we can choose open fijora or damien or else we can go to the marketplace and try to see if there is an image of any 10 with any 10 already uh, installed. And here you can see it. So let's choose this one. And so here we can see that it's an image of Ubuntu that comes with any 10 installed. So then here, the size, just go to the basic and choose here the regular uh, option on CPU options and go to the cheapest one is more than enough to run NA10. And you can see here, it's just $6. So way, way cheaper than going to uh, one of these plans available. And you have the plus of having a limited workflow executions and limited active workflows. Then uh, you can set up backups if you want. Then we have to choose the application method to connect to the droplet. It can be SSH key or a password. Probably you don't have a SSH key added to the digital ocean. So let's use the password one and define the password for the root user. And then uh, here uh, we have to define the quantity of droplets to deploy. So it's just only one. And then here on host name, we can define the droplet name. So we, let's keep it more simple, such as NA10 Ubuntu. And then you can apply some text to the droplet. And after having all this setup, just click on create droplets. And now the droplet uh, will be created. Let's just wait a bit. Droplet is up and running, so now there is just some more steps to do in order to end the setup. So we can see them here on this get started guide. And basically what we have to do is to take a domain that we own and create on it a new a tagness entry for a subdomain pointing to the IPv4 of this droplet, which is this one on my case. So 
Now, if you don't have a domain, you can get one for a really cheap price on Nameship. And basically just get the domain. And then after getting the domain, we have to create the A type DNS entry. This is, should be a similar process across different uh, domain providers. So basically you have to go to the management of your domain at your uh, domain provider, and then go to the part where you can uh, set up the DNS. So add DNS records. And from there, add a new record of a type. And then here for the also, here we'll define the subdomain. Let's define it as NA10. And now here on IP address, let's decave the one from our droplet. So let's get it and paste it here. And after that, let's create the record. And now we might need to wait some minutes in order to this become active. So let's just wait a bit. I gave some minutes after adding the DNS record. So after adding it and it becomes active, the next step will be to connect the droplet. So to connect it very easily, we can just click on it and then go here to console to connect to the droplet. And now uh, basically uh, it's asking now initially because this is the part that we basically we'll finish the setup. So it's asking the subdomain that we have defined on our domain. So in our case, we define an any intent. So we can just give an enter here. It's a default. Now here, the domain name that we have used to register the subdomain point into these droplets. So I'll put here my domain that I have used. You have to put yours. Then we have to add our email address for Let's Encrypt. This is to get the SSL certificate. So let's put our email address. Then we can configure the time zone. So let's just move ahead. And now it's finishing. So putting everything up and running in order to be able to run any 10. So let's just let it to finish. And after doing this, we don't have to do this anymore. So this is basically a single time setup. So let's just wait, let it to finish. Installation completed. So now we can access to our Anytan server in the browser to continue at this URL. So let's see if it's working well. So let's put here uh, our uh, URL. And here we can see that it's working. So we are accessing the Anytan that we have created uh, this is that we created from this uh, droplet on digital ocean. So now here, initially we have to set up the owner account. So let's add here our email, our name, and then define a password. And then if you want to receive security and product updates, just check this option. So then let's click on next. And so now here it's just doing some additional questions. So here you can just put anything that you want. Basically, you can uh, put your result, for example, myself, a research company, less than 20 people, and how we have discovered. So let's put, for example, Google. And then here uh, we can get paid features for free if we register here our email to receive the license key. So we can get additionally the workflow history, advanced debugging and execution search and tagging. So we can get some of features if we do this step. So let's do it. So it's free. So now we'll get the license key on our email. I just got the email now. So here we can see the license key. So basically we just have to copy it and then here go to usage and plan or just go here on settings and then click here on enter activation key, paste it. And here you can see that we got the license activated. And so now we can basically just create uh, the workflows that we want. So we have any 10 up and running self-hosted on DigitalOcean and just costing $6 a month with unlimited executions and unlimited active workflows. And if you like this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and now subscribe to the channel and in the notifications bell so you don't miss any tutorial released here on the channel.